And we're going to move on from the list tag to our next thing, which is the first and last aggregate function. First talks about the first one in some sort of sorted list, so it's the lowest. Last talks about the highest one in a sorted list, the last one in a, high, in a sorted list, so it's the highest. Um, and it's the highest of some kind of aggregated function, which we'll see in some examples. Now, you have to be careful. The first and the last, you don't want to base it on a column that's the, a group by column. Because remember, this whole thing is we're going to use first and last in a group by. If you're basing it on, let's say, an aggregate on one in a group by columns, well, for each row, the group by column is the same value for the row. So the first and last are the same. There is no difference, so you don't get any valid information from first and last when you base it on a group by column. So what do you do? You base it on a column that's not a group by column. Okay, so just make that clear, and you're going to see that coming up in this next example. Let's look at our some data. I have a table called cusp first last. I'm going to group by region, and I'm going to get the average sales. Here's my average sales for my four regions. My 56, 733, 1190, and 635. Okay, fairly standard, nothing unusual there. I haven't used first and last yet, but I'm building towards that. The next, let's look at a little bit more data, and let's look at this data in more detail. If I group by region and credit level and display region and credit level, I notice that for Northeast, I have credit levels A, B, C, D, and E. And the average for A is 1187, for B it's 1067, and so on. A is my best, my best customers, they're my A-level customers, so that's, that is my average for Northeast for my best customers. E is my worst customers. Okay, so I may, I may have that average. So let's say I want to display my data, but I don't want the detail like this. I want to do something like an list, list tag before, something like that. I want this kind of information that displays it by region, one row for each region, but on the row for each region, I not only want to display the overall average for the region, but I want to display the average for the best, which is best customers, which is 1187 for Northeast, and the worst, which is 753 for Northeast which for Northwest, it's 1190, and the worst is 208. So the first thing you might say is, well, that's pretty easy. I don't need a first and a last. I'll just say where credit level is an A or an E, all right, is in A comma E. That works fine for Northeast and Northwest, but look what happens in other cases. Southeast has A, B, C, and D does not have an E. So the worst is a D, and that's where the first and the last comes in. The first is going to be an A for Southeast. The last is going to be a D when you base it on credit level. For Southwest, the first is going to be a B. The last is going to be an E. So that's why we can't, you know, that's where first and last come in because you may not have all the values, and you, don't, you may not know what values you really want. You just want the best and the worst or the lowest and the highest or whatever. So, knowing that, we're going to need some syntax for first and last. Let's look at that. Here's our syntax. Notice this is giving me my average sales for all Northeast, and then what's the average sales for my uh, the customer with customers with the best credit level, and what's the average sales for my customers with the worst credit level? It's my 1187, 753, which is what I saw here, 1187, 753. For Southwest, it was 1230 and 255, 1230 and 255. Now all we got to do is get the syntax, which is a little weird, I'll admit, but this is what it is. What I do is I have my region and my normal average of sales. That didn't change. But now I'm going to take my average sales, keep, open paren, and then I have to say dense rank. Keep and dense rank. Where they get all that from, who knows? And then I want the first order by credit level. And I want the last order by credit level. It's this order by column that's the important thing. Order by credit level, the first is the lowest credit level, which is an A, which happens to be my best 
customers. And then my last credit level is the is an E if I have A and E. If I don't have A and E, it's B and D or whatever it should be. And that's my worst credit level. And now I'm displaying all that data nicely. So this is first and last. It is not based on a group by column, which is the way you want to do it. Okay? That's where first and last really comes in handy. So there are a lot of specific cases where you want to get something like that, and you can. And there are cases where it can show you a good range for first and last and so on. Just to take a quick look at what it would be if I did first and last based on the group by column, same exact thing, but I'm saying dense rank first order by region, which is the same as my group by column. Well, if I order by region, the first, this row is all northeast region. So my first and last is always northeast. It doesn't change it. So my average sales is the same as the first, is the same as the last. So that's really not giving me any functionality. So you want to use this where functionality is based on a column that's not the group by column. And that's kind of like what we did with Listag. We grouped it by something, but then we displayed information, we aggregated information on a column that was not the group by column. Okay, that's our first and last.